hi friends welcome to sql server log.com so earlier in earlier videos and articles we have seen uh, um, sql server performance issues uh, understanding and troubleshooting sql server performance issues then uh, how to configure sql server memory to optimize performance then we have seen uh, how to identify database bottlenecks with performance monitor counters then we have seen wait types uh, to tune uh, to trace and tune uh, database performance issues and uh, today uh, we are going to see how to find out most expensive queries in SQL Server so basically uh, major areas for database performance issues are uh, like uh, poor database indexing poor query design old statistics in database then uh, poor and non reusable execution plans then uh, excessive blocking and deadlockings and then improper use of cursors poor database design excessive uh, database fragmentation then uh, we have frequent recompilation of queries then um, improper configuration of database log and uh, improper configuration of temp database and excessive use of it so these are all uh, like um, it impacts on database performance and uh, so here today uh, we will check how to uh, find out most expensive queries so here I am going to use uh, three dynamic management objects I will show you I have written one query also sys.dm execute query stats number one number two sys.dm execute SQL text number three sys.dm execute uh, query plan so basically sys.dm execute uh, query stats it returns aggregate performance statistics for uh, cached query plans and uh, result of uh, this sys.dm execute query stats may vary uh, with each execution at the data only reflects finished queries and not one uh, which is still running or in queue and uh, second sys.dm execute SQL text it returns the text of the SQL uh, batch that is identified by the specified SQL handle and third sys.dm execute query plan uh, it returns the show plan in XML format for the batch specified by the plan handle and plan handle can be cached or currently executing and all three uh, requires view server state permission on the server so uh, we'll check here I have uh, written this query select top 10 I'm just selecting top 10 uh, from my uh, server and I have uh, selected few columns for uh, total CPU and average CPU and query plan okay and I have cross applied uh, with this dynamic management objects and order by total worker time in descending order so I will execute it so right now okay there is no output uh, because I have just started my uh, system so I will uh, run few uh, small small queries so that we'll get some uh, output in this query to explain So I'll give multiple execution to it. Okay, now coming to our examples here. So we have five records right now. Okay, so here SQL handle uh, text, the text, uh, the queries which is executed, then uh, total worker time, uh, which is total uh, the CPU time, then average CPU time, uh, elapsed time, then query plan. So you can click on this query plan to find out if there is like any suggestion for creating index cluster or non-cluster index or uh, whatever execution plan and costing of the query is there it will show you I'll just click it so you can see the query which we have executed uh, uh, right just now so it is uh, suggesting us for missing index impact is 94.17 and uh, it is suggesting to create non-clustered index and uh, on on this table and it is giving few suggestions also and here you can see uh, on other queries also it is giving few suggestions missing index impact 92.70 create non cluster index so you can right click on it and uh, click missing index details so it will give you uh, the, uh, exactly the same query uh, to create non cluster index then you can specify the name of the uh, missing index you can give the name of the index on sales order header and covering index on order date and 
total due so you can create it and uh, again uh, go uh, here and uh, like and uh, check the performance of the query okay so uh, this is very small query and uh, you can use it for troubleshooting uh, uh, to find out the uh, most expensive queries in sql server okay i hope you will like this video thank you so much